So I came up with my plan. It's okay. Here it is. Let's roll. I got to pick the worst ship in the Navy. I did a lot of research. I went over to the leadership department. I pulled out the deployment schedules. I pulled out all the ships. I looked at it all. There was two winners. There was this the worst ship in the Navy, the USS Merrimack out of Norfolk, deploying in October. And there was another oiler in San Diego, but it was deploying in like February, some time frame like that. Those were the first two ships. Every other ship out of like 300 ships on the board, they were all deploying like the next year, like a full year and a half after I was going to graduate, they were going to deploy. Okay. So I said, well, I got to pick the Merrimack. I got to pick this ship right here. I said, okay, we're going to pick the Merrimack. All right. So I picked the U.S. So I go to, to ship selection. I'm 500 in my class. This is the craziest thing in the world. Academically, I'm like, 500 in my class, military performance, I'm 1036, and there's only 998 people in the class. I'm below, like, they got people that got kicked out, and I'm still below them. So, but for ship selection, I was, like, probably in the top quarter of the people picking ships. So when I got up there, there was still a bunch of cruisers, and, like, in the Navy, like, things with guns on them are, like, prestigious. So I got up there, I walk up to the board, I picked the USS Maris Snacks. Captain said, what are you doing, son? So I'm picking this USS Merrimack, man, this shit, this is hot. No, you ain't, you ain't picking this ship. You're going to ruin your naval career before you even get started. Go over there to the holding tank. So here I am in the holding tank, right? They come back, you ready to pick? Said, yes, sir. Walk over there, pull the Merrimack. He said, put that back up there. He said, if you, I'm going to pick a ship for you. I said, sir, I said, this is my service selection. I said, I would prefer to pick the ship I want. He said, you know what? Do you want to kill your naval career? Go ahead. So I picked the USS Merrimack, right? Now, in my plan, I know the plan. I'm not going to tell them the plan, right? So pick the Merrimack. I'm going through the receiving line. This is how the admirals and the dudes doing me. Grab your hand and shake it, just throwing it to the next dude, looking at me like in just utter disgust. Because of the ship? Or? Yeah, because of the ship, right? Oiler, no guns, just like bad. So I'm sitting there. Got you. So I go back to my room, right? My two roommates know the plan. And they're just like, dude, you picked that ship? I said, bro, we running now. We running. So the next semester, uh, and this was something, man, like there's some motivating factors in life. So the next semester, you you get, uh, there's a class, it's like a pro-dev class, that's where you're going. So I'm in ship driver school. So we driving around on these YPs, these 104 foot like boats, right? And I'm looking over there, motherfuckers repelling out of 46s, man. They doing repelling, I'm like, I'm coming for y'all, man. Like I'm over here on this boat, but I'm coming for you. And I, I remember it like it was yesterday, man. It was so motivating for me. I was just like, yo, I'm going to run these dudes down, man. I'm going to run them down. They were over there doing cool guy shit, right? Repelling. They was helo casting on some days. Ended up, I'm like, yo, that's who I am. So fast forward, I'm in this class, and I'm trying to go to SWAS, the ship driver school. So we graduated on the 30th of May. There was a class starting on the 1st of June. So we graduated on like a Thursday or a Friday. There was a class starting that next Monday. So uh, in the middle of my senior semester, I had to hatch a plan to, to get to this ship driver school the first day, right? So, you know, I tell you, I'm unconventional, bro. I'm going to do what I got to do to win. So I went over to the leadership department and the, the guy that's in charge of schools, I said, hey, man, when's so-and-so going on leave? They're like, oh, he's going on leave woo, 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 right during spring break. So, all right, cool. So during spring break, I broke into his office <laughs> and I called, I called the detailer. And I, I said, hey man, I said, I got uh got my shipman Zwig sitting here. He want to go to ship driver school June 1st. And the guy was like, what the fuck is wrong with that guy? He said, I don't know, man. I, 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 so I'm imitating the, the, the leadership, the 03. I said, hey man, I don't know what's wrong with him. He been in my office for 30 minutes. I try to talk him out of it. I, I mean, he, I don't know, man. He want to go June 1st. He said he fired up. He want to get there. 
So the guy was like, man, shit, I'll make that happen right now. He said, what's the social? So I said, hey, man, Jake, what's, uh, uh, Ms. Shimmons Wick, what's the social? So I said, uh, 549, blah, 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 right? So you're role-playing. I'm role-playing. In, in his, I'm in his chair in his office, right? It's spring break. Ain't nobody at the Naval Academy. I done broke into his office, right? So the detail is like, done. Okay, done. Got him. He, he going June 1st. He said, man, tell that kid he's stupid, man. Like, the Navy is a long time. I see. He said, I was like, yeah, man. I, I tried to tell him, man. But thanks. Thanks, Joe. Hung the phone up, right? <laughs> so I walk up out of there. And I'm like, okay. First, right? We, we checking down the boxes that we done made. We, we going to ship driver school June 1st. Okay? So my plan was your, your PST, your physical test is good for a year. And I knew I was going to a ship. I got to take that test while I'm in ship driver school. So I came up with the basic, the same plan that I give to the young men now is the plan that I ran on. So I was working out like seven hours a day. Ship driver school was hard. I had to learn a lot. Studying, sleeping, that's all I did for the first seven weeks. So I'm number two in my class. I'm murdering it. Because I my mindset is, I, the more I learn right now, when I get to my ship, the better I'll be. Right. So like everything was like applicable to the final goal of getting picked up in June. OK. So during that that second semester, I get, I'm going my sponsor. So I had a Marine 04 that kind of took care of me because he found me at Thanksgiving. I didn't go home for Thanksgiving. And